I don't really like change. So today's topic is going to be change. I found a quote by an until now unknown author um, whose name is Yuval Nora Harari and he writes People are usually afraid of change because they fear the unknown but the single greatest constant of human history is that everything changes. So aside from death and taxes, change is one of the only things we can be certain about. Um, when I attended university, I always got this feeling of anxiety when approaching a new semester, um, which made me suffer. And I think this comes down to the fact that I was afraid of the unknown. I was afraid that I it would be a difficult semester, it would be tough, that I wouldn't have the knowledge acquired to pass it, uh, required to pass it, that I that that I would just fail, you know. So I suffered in anticipation of change. But really everything needs to change in order for things to get better. Of course also for things to get worse, but change is necessary. If you were asked, what would you rather? A life with uh, just like a constant level of nothingness or the same or would you rather have a life with ups and downs? I think most of, of us would choose the second one and in order for life to have its ups and downs you need to have change. So change is like a necessity for you to live your life and you know sometimes change is a bad thing. Sometimes you are evicted from your house, sometimes a loved one dies, but oftentimes change can be something beautiful too. It can be the seasons changing, the coming of spring, or or the graduation of your sister or brother, or it, it change is, I think change is a neutral thing. Again, this refers back to some of the other stoic thinkers' point in the fact that there is a diff difference between how you perceive things and that really shapes shapes the way that you experience things. If you perceive an event to be negative, well your your experience of that event is going to be negative. I think a lot of you fellow powerlifters like the continuity of working out that you kind of know what your program says like a certain amount of time out in the future and you like this schedule that just keeps on going. I know for myself I have to train Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday and this just keeps on rolling so whenever I have an event in a weekend that kind of makes it unlikely for me to, to, to make my workouts I have to deal with the fact that a change has occurred and instead of panicking saying oh no then I can't train I, I try to practice saying okay let's make some changes then and things will turn out right because there are plans and then there are reality and those things are not always the same. You can plan from here and until the day you die, but reality is just that sometimes things doesn't turn out the way that you want them to. Um, I am currently reading a book, Anti-Fragility, and this is uh, essentially about gaining things that gain from disorder, things that gain from some kind of, of negative that some things are just not, you can't foresee them. So you, you have to be okay with changes happening without you seeing them coming, you know. I think it's, it's, it's turning out to, to be a little bit abstract thinking, so, so I'm going to try to stop myself. But my point is, change is inevitable. There is a saying in, uh, I think it's uh, Buddhism, that a puddle of water where everything stands still rottens, but a stream with flowing water brings life and nourishment and, and, and you can use this as an image of life. You need to have 
some some stream you, you need to things need to flow there needs to be a constant change of of things in order for it to progress you know i think i don't think i have any more to say rather than this was uh, personally for me something i have to work on on a daily basis being okay with change because i like things the way they are but i can't develop i can't get stronger i can't you know come further in life without change so i need to welcome it in any way it is um and i think i'll make another video about a related topic someday soon but for now thank you for watching <laughs>